You're listening to Blue Radio, bringing the vibe. For all you good listeners, welcome one more time to the breakfast of champions right here, right now on Blue Radio. My good name, like any other morning, is Mala Kipto alongside MC Odanit in the building. Leo kwanza umekaa karibu umekaa karibu yako kama venye unakuanga kwa Dex pale hey, wacha, wacha leo ni, ni go there hapa karibu na wewe kwa sababu <laughs> tuko na watu wa maana sana mjengoni this morning Unajua kama kuna kitu unajua ni hii interview mko kingoja for the longest time if there is something you've been waiting for it's this interview Last time bana KPLC <laughs> walianguka na sisi huh? mm. They saying Kenya Power decided to do the thing eh? All right but leo ndio ile siku Today is that day right. Now without much further ado the moment of truth The moment you all have been waiting for and of course a story like no other a story that you all want to hear about and uh, I also want to hear about like yourselves and uh, we want to welcome our guests this morning uh first and foremost let's start uh, with a simple introduction who you are and what you do let me start uh, ladies first the only lady that will good morning <laughs> Uh, for anyone who is listening in, you know who doesn't know uh, who you are, they're only hearing the voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, kindly introduce yourself, who you are and what you do. I am Skulile Msomi. I am from South Africa. Okay. I am a mother, mm-hmm. I am a sister, I am a daughter. Mm-hmm. I am a writer and wife to this handsome man called <laughs> Felix. <laughs> Idiongo Madaraka. All right, all right. You know, Ino ni tonga detailed introduction. Detail details <laughs> are important. Unaenda mahali na mtu wako. You go somewhere. It's important. School in. Yes. Idiongo. You go somewhere with your person. Yes. You are being asked. Uh, gentleman, who is this? Uh, her name is Kulili. She's my wife. My wife. She's my wife. <laughs> And you are done. Period. <laughs> <laughs> She has done justice to the introduction. Thank you very much. Yeah. Welcome. Uh hello guys. How are you? How are you doing? Hope you are having a great day. This is your boy Madaraka Gani Idiomo in the studio. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. Bless you. Um I'm a spiritual teacher and I'm a husband. Mm-hmm. Uh to this uh, beautiful woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's done so much for us. And uh, I'm also a father of two, Lynn and Maverick. Uh-huh. Uh, um, and also I have a mom and I have a very beautiful, also a spiritual teacher at, and that's my family. Family man, spiritual teacher. And, uh, huh. Interesting. Thank you, Thank you very much. Interesting, eh? Right. At least uh, you've done justice. Unajua ni kama ile pressure imekuja, lazima you return the same favor, which is very very important. Please, you must return the favor because eh, the way it has started. Yes. The pace is very high. You have to also maintain the same pace. Got to love it. Got to love it. Now, I want us to start from the beginning. You know uh we've been hyping this we've been telling people we're going to have you guys in the mm. building uh last time you know actually we had somebody from uh, South Africa texting where can I listen when can I get the conversation uh, choki yeah <laughs> so there there are uh, uh, people in Kenya and the world who uh would like to know how how things started off could you like uh, walk us uh through uh through that how did everything start please uh oh, sorry, sorry. it's a long story beautiful one interesting one i have no clue uh, what's been guiding our story but mm-hmm. our story is uh, it's divine mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, it's heavier than us uh, but uh, uh, by uh, i'll say by <coughs> the blessings of the our creator the blessings of you know, our higher um, uh, expressions uh, from ancestors from, from from the universe itself from plants from water <laughs> from you guys from our followers we've had an opportunity to 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 share our love story with the rest of the world and i think maybe that was the next step because uh, it was becoming also a a, a a question for us how things are running very quickly and how things were turning up you know we plan something uh, at night in the morning it has it is happening you know, so it's miraculous mm-hmm. So um it started way uh, over on TikTok mm-hmm. uh, me sharing um, 
uh, videos that I was uh, <coughs> I was recording in the farm. Mm-hmm. So I would record videos in the farm, educate people about bees, insects, spiders, butterflies, coming. <laughs> <laughs> And plant trees and plants <laughs> and soil. <laughs> so you know you you know sometimes when you wake up there's something burning inside of you and you want to share it. Yeah. You want to tell someone this is not color blue, this is white, but no one else <laughs> in the world thinks this is white. So you have to come up with the with the explanations and proofs. This is not blue. <laughs> this is white, and uh, that was some of the uh, experiences, and then that's why it led me to posting the videos, uh, uh, most of the teachings were from the religious books, because right? mm-hmm. uh, I was also reading the, the, the very same books, the Quran, the Bible, mm-hmm. uh, some uh, few tips from Buddhism, Hinduism, because mm-hmm. I also wanted to understand humanity, and then I post the videos, and then one morning I post another video about plants, and she, she makes a comment, mm-hmm. and her comment is, all other comments disappeared on TikTok. <laughs> 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 and it's just one comment uh-huh. and I would walk with that comment and I never replied it I almost I don't know if it's a week or I never replied for the comment but the comment was always here it was in your mind yes I was I always wanted to go back to the comments because most of my videos posting on TikTok mm-hmm. I never used to, to reply to anything mm-hmm. but I just the phone my phone will spend the entire day on the couch there or on the bed so I'll take the phone around 3 or 4 p.m., record a video for 20 minutes, then post. Then mm-hmm. take my phone back to the table mm-hmm. until the next day. Until the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But this, uh, you know, you wake up one day and um, there's a video trending in South Africa. It's trending in Nigeria, in Egypt, in India. And it's my video and I see so many comments and I decided maybe I should, this is the time where I should start. I should start, video. yeah. The comments uh-huh. and it's when i i saw that comment from her uh, will you please teach me everything from scratch <laughs> 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 so uh that's the comment that uh that I got you i responded to and uh look where we are now wow yeah. teach me everything from the start yeah, from the scratch <laughs> from the scratch yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually teach me every can you please teach me everything you know yeah. mm-hmm. i want to know everything from scratch mm-hmm. wow so, uh, how long have you been uh, in Kenya or to Kenya rather? Here in yes, Kenya. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is day forty nine. I've been here for forty nine days. Yeah. You've been here <laughs> for forty nine days. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, when you talk about uh, culture, you know, South African culture and Kenyan culture are somehow very different. Especially, uh, you know, being a Maasai, culture is very, very important. You know, what are you learning, you know, uh, from uh, one one another's culture, especially, you know, what are you learning from uh, Kenya as a country? Because Kenya is a very unique place and we know ourselves. Uh, what have you learned so far about the country and, you know? What I've learned so far is that mm-hmm. we, we are so similar. Okay. And we are different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, are, we are not different at all, actually. <coughs> Okay. We are we are we are inclined to see the differences because that's what the world wants us to be mm-hmm. separate and different. But since I came here, I came here because I wanted to build something with Madaraka. I wanted to uh, build a family. I my vision is to find all the things that will make Kenya home for me. Mm-hmm. So all I'm seeing is what will make what is similar to my home and what will make my life feel in Kenya feel like I'm still in South Africa and I'm seeing all of those things. Mm-hmm. We are the same people. Mm-hmm. Our languages are the same. Mm-hmm. There are words, Swahili words that are Zulu words. The Zulu words, yeah. They are, they are the same, same and they mean the same thing. They mean the same thing, yeah. So the cultures, the, the mannerisms, the behaviors, the way we, we raise our children, we are all the same. We are the same, and um, I, I, I feel like uh, all these things, uh, labels like uh, culture shocks, mm-hmm. those are things that are made to exaggerate small <laughs> things that make us, you know, different as individuals. But we mm-hmm. are the same. Uh, you know, when when you tell uh, people. And uh, I would want to hear from you. You know, when you told your friends back home, you know, you are relocating to another country mm. to try to try something different for you. For you, you know, it's not for everyone. It's 
for you. Yeah. What was their reaction and how are they still reacting up to now? Well, they they first thought I was crazy. What? <laughs> they told you you are crazy. I don't have that much friends. The friends that I have are my sisters. They didn't literally tell me I was crazy, but they were like, "What are you What are you what thinking?" Are you? I remember Asan they thought that he was a cult leader at some point. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what she mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> she thought that I was following some cult leader online and now I'm I'm going to to stay with him and he's uh, brainwashed my mind. Mm-hmm. But uh, as soon as um she started getting to know him because he was on my mind and my my mouth the whole time. Mm-hmm. So they had no choice but to really try and find out who is this man mm-hmm. that the school is so crazy about. Mm-hmm. The school is what they call me back home. Back at home. Yeah. <laughs> my food there is crazy. So They they first thought that uh he's done something to me. You know how people can get to things. They thought he was a religious cult leader. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as they they got to know him and they were the first people to really support his lives when he started going live and they could tell that okay now i understand why my sister mm-hmm. loves this man i think she will be safe ah. and uh before before i welcome my colleague you know uh when you are writing uh you are reply to his post mm. you know did you anticipate that this could lead to something because you know uh many a times when you talk to our female friends they tell us uh, we always know the person we want we always have an idea that this person is the person i want did you have that in mind or was it you know innocently uh you know wanting to actually know what he does absolutely not i didn't have that in mind i don't want to lie i didn't have i didn't think that maybe there they could possibly be a relationship when i was sending that message i was at a a a a part in my life where i was like i am so done with men mm-hmm. you know <laughs> i know <laughs> i just needed help with my spiritual journey mm-hmm. i was on that journey mm-hmm. so and he, he was the only because on tiktok i was following a couple of spiritual um teachers yeah but you know none of them resonated with me in a way where i felt like okay this is the the kind of uh, teachings that i need but as soon as i came across madaraka then things changed completely mm-hmm. you know i I, i i consumed his his information his teachings and it was become like it wasn't enough mm-hmm. i needed more because it was connecting with me so much mm-hmm. but when when i sent that message i really really needed help for myself spiritually mm-hmm. i i wasn't thinking about anything else it only evolved when we started you know talking in at a personal level at a personal level yeah sure all right powerful all right uh interesting uh you know, my brother idiongo yeah. and my uh, beautiful sister i'm so miss kulile yeah so <laughs> let me take you back to the comment uh, in, in your tiktok account uh, idiongo yes from the comment who started yeah. shooting the other now <laughs> <laughs> who started shooting the other now Who started okay, shooting uh, the water gun or the the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> just the sweet words the sweet woman who started out the throwing sweet, the, 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 the sweet words yeah that happen because for me I was strictly strictly mm. I never crossed that board <laughs> right no matter what yeah mm-hmm. so uh when uh, <clears throat> when uh, I asked her now I went to her inbox and I asked her uh, uh, hello uh, what would you love to to know what's going on right. what's up with the what's how your spiritual journey like uh, your spiritual person uh, which religion are you attached to and what have you been doing uh, and uh, maybe why are you so interested in the, uh, in uh, to know some of these things I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm discussing here on TikTok that's why she uh, she she went ahead and mentioned that uh, I would love to to understand Uh, uh some of these things that uh, uh, are going on as far as religion is concerned so that was the discussion and then I asked her what do you do like how do you, uh, 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 what's your spiritual uh, uh, habits like she discussed some of them then I told her for me they're just very basics they're the, the basics 
of what even a cow is doing. <laughs> right. They're so basics. Like you can look at them, you don't see them. Right. Like you, for you to see them, you have to, to, to you have to close your eyes and go back into the soil mm-hmm. for you to see these basics that a butterfly will do and it will change your life. A basic a fish is doing in water and mm-hmm. it will change your life. Mm-hmm. And those are the things that uh, for us civilized society, for us people who prefer the city than than the, than the village, for us people who prefer a, um, a colored society. Yeah. Uh, then, 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 then the darkness. Uh, we is not possible to see why the soil is below your leg, below your legs, and you walk on that soil every day. Mm-hmm. You don't see uh, air you breathe and it's in your nose. Yeah. You don't see the blue skies above your head. They're always there to seven. Right. So that's so that some of the things we we discussed with her, and I was glad she was into it. I was glad she was also reading about it. She was also practicing it. She also uh, got to a point where. She don't just want to wake up in the morning and uh, and chase material advancement. She had gotten to a point where she want she also want to understand parents, children, life, religion, food, science, <laughs> and uh, we started that discussion. And then it got to a point where <coughs> I mentioned that uh, if you sit next to me and you have desires in your head. They will come true. <laughs> she wanted to sit next to you. That is why she she decided to immediately pack her belongings and bought the aeroplane to Kenya. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. So Beautiful. Far, how about how is, uh, how is your heart desire uh, They're coming along. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All right. Just sit next to me and close your eyes. Mm-hmm. And put your heart desires in your head. Uh, wow. They will come true. Wow. And then she was so. If I come all the way. That will happen, and I told her, um, definitely. Wow. Yeah. As long as you are an honest person. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So uh, from there, when she discussed her desires, honoring her father, her business uh, growing, having a child, uh, growing old to take care of her grandchildren, a <coughs> uh, desire for true love. So I went through her heart desires, and uh, you know, it's 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 uh, it's not obvious when you meet a lady and you discuss her desires and she's not men- mentioning a bank account, a trip to Maldives, right? Uh, shopping, yeah. buy a house. Uh, she didn't mention any of that. And for me, it was uh, the best the moment when I uh, think things changed. I feel like I can trust her. Mm-hmm. I feel like, because uh, I was single, like 100%, not right. even anyone I could talk to. Yeah. In any name of uh, I would love to. <laughs> get married or, or date so uh, i think maybe that was the turning point and um, that's why i, I deep digger into why would you have a heart desire like i would love to honor my father mm-hmm. that changed my thoughts all right all right <laughs> also also um, uh, to you a uh, beautiful love but uh, you know love is a beautiful thing <laughs> And whoever finds love finds a good thing <laughs> and finds favor from God. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, uh, talking about long distance relationships, you know, this uh, someone who's listening right now is in that situation. Yes, yes. Right now, long distance relationship, and he or she is wondering, oh, will it really come to uh, come true like uh, Idiomo and um, Somi's uh, story? And uh, they are very anxious, right? What can you tell that person? How did it? How did it just easily work out for you too? And uh, you are now here today. It wasn't easy. Right. It wasn't easy. Um, I think for us, it's the 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 foundation of everything that that is happening between us is honesty. Right. Honesty, not only in the relationship, but being honest to yourself. And being more aware of yourself. So if I trust myself, trust the way that I feel, I'm more in tune with myself as a woman. I would be able to know if this relationship with Idiongo is real. If Idiongo is honest right. in his feelings, in everything that he's saying, the promises that he makes any affirmations that he makes of our relationship if they are true or not because i'm in tune i can feel it i can feel the connection we were like on his on the other side of africa but 
I could feel that this connection was real. You know, I didn't need to be close to him to know that, to to hear that what he's saying to me is the truth. So if you work on yourself and you are in the relationship for the right reasons, you know, as a woman, you trust yourself, you are intuitive, you will know that it is <coughs> worth it. The distance is nothing. It's the relationship that matters. So if you feel like he is honest or she is honest and you the connection is real, go for it. Trust wow. yourself. Trust that voice in your head. You know? And believe in love. If you feel that it's love, believe in it. It will do the rest. You don't have to do anything. Believe in love. Yes. Uh, my Bible tells me, huh? uh, so many such, but very few find. And today we are so lucky. We are uh, in the building with uh, a duo that have searched and truly have found. Uh, you know, you talked about uh, the importance of spirituality, you know, uh, in your connection, you know. The connection was present while you guys were, a dis- were distant apart. Yeah. Now that you are here, very closely together, yeah. in the same room, yeah. in the same yeah. country, yeah. yes, you know uh how is uh, uh spirituality you know a big part why is it so uh, why is it rather a big part of who you are and uh, you know of what you guys are building uh, uh the, the the importance of spirituality is uh, spirituality has everything in it it's like carrying a bag that has everything you need mm-hmm. in it, like your own body okay your own body doesn't have anything missing you can literally move from where we are, go to another place with your body, and everything you need, you're carrying it. So when it comes to spirituality, like for example, if you use religion, Christianity, Christianity does not have Islam in it, in our society. The, the church has removed Islam from Christianity. If you go to Islam, Islam has removed Christianity from Islam. Yet, if you read the Quran, Christianity is in the Quran. If you read the Bible, Islam is in the Bible. It's in the Bible, yeah. So if I walk around and say I'm a Christian, I've reduced myself. Mm-hmm. If I walk around and say I'm a Muslim, I've reduced myself. Right. If I walk around and I don't even say who I am, I am full. Mm-hmm. Because you look at my body, it does not even have a name. Mm-hmm. It doesn't even know I am black, or I'm educated, or I'm rich, or I'm poor. Mm-hmm. I'm the one who says, I'm a deal. I didn't even ask my body what's my name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yet my body is bigger than myself. Mm-hmm. It's also part of myself. So when it comes to spirituality and solving a problem, spirituality does not solve a problem with biasness. With biasness for people in Mombasa, people in Nairobi, people in Kampala. Spirituality puts all of us together like, like God has done. Like you see Allah has put us on the same planet, in the same place, with the same everything. We breathe the same things. So when it comes to spirituality, it brings all of us together. That all of us have hands, all of us eat, all of us sleep, all of us have hair on our head, all of us have a human body. Right. And that's why for me, uh, when it comes to spirituality, I prefer that journey, that road, because it brings all of us together. Muslims and Christians and Buddhists and, and, uh, and, uh, and Hindus and People practice Taoism, people don't have a religion, people yeah. don't, they, all spirituality does not leave them behind. It mm-hmm. carries, it gives you your own chance, your own opportunity to be you, yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's why uh, I think when, uh, when I met her, and uh, she also was sharing the same same thoughts, I thought maybe uh, this would be the best person to, to tag along, mm-hmm. to work with, and work as a team. And when she, she also agreed to that, we, we could work, and I uh, know. Uh, people look at her videos, uh, vlogs, and they think it's, uh, it's content. Right. Mm-hmm. But if someone, you have a deeper eye, you have a, you, you have a deeper eye, you look at her content, you realize that she's also a spiritual teacher. Mm-hmm. And that's why she's also changing many people's lives by her vlogs, uh, by, by, by the videos she posts on TikTok, because they are moving, not just the people watch them, even us from a position where we are, we are part of the content or we, we we are, we are walking around, uh, getting the content. It moves us. And it moves us as well to see people respond to those uh, many beautiful, uh, uh, lovely thoughts on 
TikTok on YouTube, on Instagram, and uh, it's an absolute honor. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, that's why I think uh, an African child, uh, we've woken up to a new sun, we've woken up to a new earth, we've woken up to new parents, to new uh, uh, us, and it's time to embrace Islam, it's time to embrace Christianity, but not as a separate entity, as a separate journey. It's time for our Christian brothers and sisters to also embrace our Christ- our Muslim brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. We are children of one universe. Mm-hmm. We are children of one God. We are children of one Allah. Despite the name you use to, pre- to refer to your creator. Yeah. Right. A creator has no name. A creator has no name. N- naming, giving a creator a label, you are reducing humanity. You are reducing ourselves. Let's come together. Love is also a child of spirituality. Uh, civilization, uh, uh, religion, science is also a branch of spirituality. Right. Mm-hmm. So you see, when you go spirituality way, you're working with everything. You're working with everything you're for sure. With everything. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, you know, uh, uh, one good thing is that uh, your love story is quite inspiring Thank and so uh, it's a life changing uh, thing to someone who really follows mm-hmm. your story. And uh, talk about 49 days. 49 yeah. days. <laughs> School <laughs> yeah. 49 days. No, with Idiomo. Idiomo. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. And uh, the more you be together, the more you discover more about one another, the yeah. more you learn from one another, the more you get to know your weaknesses and your strengths. Sure. And there is someone who's listening right now. Yeah. You earlier on mentioned honesty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People are seriously struggling in their relationships currently. The devil has taken charge yeah. of relationships. People are really having so many problems in their relationships. And they are, they are, they are listening right now. Yeah. We want a life changer from yeah. you too. Yeah, sure. I want you to talk to someone who is listening right now. Yeah. Tell them that love do exist. And yes, love it is does. there. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It definitely does. You know, True love. True love. If, if that that part of honesty is what it, it's it's scary. It's so difficult to be honest because you, you are scared that if you are honest, things won't work out. But it's what holds it together. Because if you are honest, you you think you are you stay too much in your mind, being fearing the truth. You just need to have courage because we think in society that oh um or a man won't love me if I tell him that, you know, I have this kind of problem or I've been married three times before. But um, Idiongo will look at you as being somebody who uh, has the experience to be in a, 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 a marriage, you know, you understand you've been through so much and they look at you differently with respect that you still have the courage to be uh, in the marriage and to commit. So you should just be honest and you will see how the truth just makes, it's not as hard as, as uh, society makes it seem. You always think about consequences or you fear that things don't work out if I tell the truth, but try it once, try it for a week. Just be honest with every feeling that you have, be honest. Make honest decisions, do honest things, think honestly to yourself, be honest with yourself and see how your life changes in just seven days. And then if if you feel like uh, you can still continue, just keep doing it every day and see the universe just do all the work that you thought was so difficult for you. Put yeah. it, everything falls into place. Yeah. Wow. And maybe, uh, maybe a quick mention. The more honest you are today, the more courageous you are. A bird will never lie to you. Mm-hmm. The soil you walk on will never lie to you. Have you ever seen a child lie? Like a, like a one-year-old baby lie? No. A year baby lie? They no. don't lie. Right. A cow will never lie to you. No matter what, they never lie. Right. Look at trees. Not even a single lie. Right. So if everyone else in the universe does not lie, and then human beings lie, <laughs> we are excluded. You know, you are excluded from the, from the journey. It's like you've, you, 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 you alighted from the bus right. with everyone. So you become, you, you lag behind. So when it comes to uh, marriage, when it comes to relationships, you don't say, I am looking for a lover. I am look, I'm searching for someone to love. You will never find. 
Love does not know it is love. The sun does not look at itself. They are the ones who look at the sun. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, the soil does not look at itself. It looks at the air. The air does not know it's air unless soil shows up. So you don't say I'm searching for uh, for love. You will never find it. Right. Love is not found. Love is not searched. You can't search your blood. Your blood is in your veins. You walk with it. Love is in your heart. Uh, it is so much that you can give to every human being, every insect, every child, every mother, everything you see. There is enough love in your heart to give everything you come across. But our society does not teach us to love. Right. Our society teaches us to compete. The wife is competing with the husband. Right. Our society is teaching us to only look at bad things. So if I go on social media, it is only a thread of bad news, bad things. Is not handsome. Mm -hmm. She's not beautiful. Right. She's not rich. Right. She's not. She's not rich. You see, yeah. those yeah. are the things that excite us. Yeah. But you try and wake up in the morning, and instead of complaining about your husband or your wife, go to your wife. Even if she didn't make the best food, just say thank you. I love the food. Thank you. Hi. Good morning. Even if you cannot, just you as a man or you as a woman, just go ahead and say thank you. Wow. And when it comes to a man and a woman, a man in marriage cannot be a, like a woman in marriage. You can't be on the same level. Because one of you is soil, one of you is air. Air has to be air for soil to be there. Right. If air becomes soil, then there is no man in the house. Right. If the soil becomes air, then there is no woman in the house. Mm -hmm. A man has to be in the house. And a woman has to be in the house. Right. And a man has to stick to darkness. A man has to stick to silence. A man has to stick to taking it. The woman has to stick to expressiveness. That's why uh, uh, if a man uh, in the house, uh, with the way the Western culture is teaching us that we are equal or gender gender equality, it's not a bad thing. Right. It's not a bad thing. But when it comes to uh, 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 relating, a man relating with a woman, uh, uh, you, you, have just to, you, you just have to know that a man is on the other side the universe, a woman is on the other side of the universe, and the two of you have to work together to form your own home. Having a home of a mother, a child, a mother, a father, and a child, that home of a mother, a father, and children is what the universe is doing. Right. So if you love your wife, your wife, you don't have to tell your wife, submit to me, or you must cook for me, or you know. Yeah. If you love your wife, there's a way your wife will wake up in the morning and there is an order. The same way there is order of soil, air, blue skies. Yeah. That order is in us. That's why you also have a waist, you have a chest, you have a head. Right. So the more honest person you are, the more you embrace honesty, the more you speak the truth out of your mouth, the more you are becoming like whoever created you. Wow. You're becoming like the person who created you. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> the more you have an honest approach because you know, lying is a shortcut. When someone asks you a question and you lie, you want you want the discussion to end. So it's better I tell a lie to, so that uh, I don't learn in trouble. So if you tell the truth, you will learn in trouble. But you realize that uh, the more you tell lies, the more you become fearful. And the more you become fearful, the more you manifest things that are attached to fear in your house. The more you tell the truth, the more you become honest, the more you become courageous. Right. That's why a lion is courageous. Doesn't lie. That's why wild animals are courageous. They don't lie. Right. The more you tell the truth, the more you connect with the truth. Right. Because uh, there's a divine source of truth in every human being. So the more you share love, you share honesty, you share the truth, the more you become a courageous man. And a courageous man uh, does not have fear. Wow. And a courageous man knows how to manifest. You can't manifest with fear on your head. In your head, wow. yeah, for sure. Yeah. How I wish keep told this conversation <laughs> <laughs> would continue till tomorrow because the more we yeah. continue, the more it's becoming interesting. For sure, you know, and uh, you know, looking at um, the demographic in Africa right now, many many people are young, yeah, like myself, like my colleague. Ma so many people are young. Yeah? Median age are saying is about nineteen or twenty years. There about. Yeah. So many. These are people who are not exposed to you know uh this kind of education yeah. you know as champions and as uh 
as a team now now you are a team it's no longer an individual yeah. as a team who is you know moving uh, from country to country from town to town spreading this message how important is it how important is it to you you know to uh, get that message out there to young people that this thing is real honesty and some of these values uh, can make relationship work you know how are you finding that journey and uh, how do you see it you know uh, being moving forward please messages that we get from the people that are supporting us at first we didn't know the kind of impact that uh, our love would have we didn't we discovering our purpose along the way and now we feel a sense of responsibility from how um, we are changing people's thoughts how we are affecting people's lives the love we are receiving and, and everyone who comes to us and tells us you know I, I i i didn't believe in love anymore you're restoring my faith you're restoring my belief in love you're making me look at love differently and we hope that you know in this next generation we we our children um perceive love or think of love in the way that you have shown us that love is and that's that's what I think we are here for. Since our love started on uh, social media, I think uh, social media has, is a tool that was given to us by the universe to be able to spread this, this, um, this message of love. And yeah, that's what I think mm -hmm. about what we are doing, what this love is supposed to be. You know, uh, we started the conversation um, and you mentioned or you talked about uh, learning. It's been 49 days. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there is a, a, a lot that can happen in a single day. You know, uh, in that time, what is the most valuable lesson you've learned, you know, about yourself, about one another, and about this journey that you guys are on, you know, and uh, how, you, how important is it to you and uh, to everyone that would listen this morning? <laughs> Let's hear from the lady first. <laughs> The most valuable lesson that I have learned about myself yeah. is, is that I, I can do anything that I put my mind to. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that is impossible in this life if, if I think something. Mm -hmm. I, uh, this is something that uh, Madaraka told to me mm -hmm. that I, I, I am God, mm -hmm. you know, so th there's nothing that um, is happening in my life or will happen or did happen that I didn't decide myself. And I've discovered the power of my own thoughts in this journey. Uh, from the time we started talking in South Africa, any thoughts that we had or we told, we discussed something, it would just happen effortlessly the universe would just make it happen as as if it were magic and it's just the power of my own thoughts and that's a lesson that i've learned the way that i think about myself about people around me is is how i will manifest my life yeah all right powerful a lot about you uh, <coughs> the teacher you I've, know i've learned I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I've learned so many lessons actually from also her being here in Kenya. Right? Yeah. I, I never knew I'll meet a woman is so hard working like my own mother. <laughs> my mother, the standards of being an industrious woman, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone can go beyond my mother or my aunt, uh, Nancy. Uh, for me, uh, I'm surprised to have come across one as well. Mm -hmm. And that, that makes me a uh, very lucky man. I feel so lucky uh, to have such a working um, uh, wife. Mm -hmm. uh, every morning, every evening, uh, what she does is uh, I could never thank her enough. Mm -hmm. I could never thank her enough. So I've learned <coughs> so many things. And um, for one, for me, I would love to share with an African child. Uh, I, I would just say these things that are mentioned sometimes by these religious uh, uh, scripts, uh, these enlightenment books, they're not lies. Mm -hmm. Our ancestors also practiced some of these things and also they made mistakes. It's not like they were perfect. 
but for us we are also given a chance to help people who've lived here before also to correct some of their mistakes and uh, we need to take courage we need to take courage and marriage is not something that uh, marriage is something that is imitating who you are mm-hmm. if i'm married to, to a woman the way i treat that woman is the way i'm treating myself is not the woman mm-hmm. we, you know we we've been created in this universe uh, uh, by our creator and he gave us something very special he gave us something that is just you so the way i treat a bird is the way i'm treating myself that's why uh, when i mentioned earlier when it comes to true love don't don't wait for someone to come and love you it will never happen it does not work that way you are the one who gives it you come across a dog stop taking a stone and throw mm-hmm. that's still an opportunity to to express true love when right. you come across a dog share the food with the dog the dog will manifest for you the food not even when you throw a stone the dog will be manifesting a stone <laughs> it's, it's, it works like that when you come across an old woman she's carrying a uh, firewood you are a young man stop doing what you're doing what you're doing whatever much is important help this woman to carry the firewood she will share back her thoughts when you come across a bird you share food with a bird when you, when neighbor you cannot say you're going to church to worship a creator yet your neighbor who is your, your neighbor your own neighbor doesn't have clothes how can you how can you explain love now so love uh, firstly it starts with you with you as a person you have to love yourself and the best way to love yourself is you start with those people who are around you your children your parents your neighbors the animals around you the plants when you connect with them you become a big source of true love and whoever is working with love in their hearts anywhere they will go in the world mm-hmm. will always attract people who love them back mm-hmm. that's what uh, it's all about uh, 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 marriage, uh, marriage uh, dating relationships relating with yourself and as well we are people who have been created of an arrangement of things that are also where we are like yeah. water like soil mm-hmm. so uh, when I, i try to connect with the soil It does not mean I'm connecting with the soil. It means you're connecting with yourself. Mm-hmm. When you try to connect with water or air, it does not mean you're connecting with air. You're connecting air with yourself. Yeah. To with us. It's just that you're connecting with yourself. And for me, uh, uh, when it comes to um, my wife, when it comes to my wife, I've learned so much about myself than I've learned, uh, 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 than I've learned waiting for someone to come and show me love waiting for someone to come and show me attention mm-hmm. that the more i give attention to her the more things run smoothly the more i show her love the more things run smoothly the more i i show her care the more things go back to 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 to, to running smoothly and uh, and uh, as she had mentioned we are one with the creator you do you know there is also um what she said uh, i am god you, you don't just say i am uh, i am uh, 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 god no you must believe it hard work you are the, the creator who created you mm-hmm. and the link that is linking you to the creator and you yourself the three of you mm-hmm. the road you and the creator you are mm-hmm. one it's like a bus traveling from nairobi to kampala that bus has a driver as a passenger and is the bus so this spirit this road is the bus you you are the driver and your passenger is your creator well, you, the three of you are one you are not you cannot separate this bus and the passenger and the passengers yeah so it is the driver to realize that the passenger i'm carrying knows the road knows everything has been to kampala to nairobi knows the enter- is the one who even created this bus yeah. let me let the, the passenger come and drive mm-hmm. and me go be, become the passenger so it is hard work and that hard work starts all the way from this religious books we are given mm-hmm. the religious books are not trying to tell you that you can become uh, bigger than the creator you, you, it, it's just the religious books are just trying to tell you you are one with this universe you are one with the creator you are not separate from the creator so the more you work hard towards that the more you are you, you, you elevate yourself the more you will the more god will teach you things that when you look at other human beings you don't know how to explain them mm-hmm. because for me i'm past that level where you look at someone and you judge them 
look at someone and you say, oh, this is a black person, this is yeah. a white person, this yeah. is poor, this is short. I don't see human beings like that mm-hmm. anymore. All right. Thank you so Interesting. Much. Powerful. Uh, we can see time is not on our side. We'd like uh, to wrap up. Okay. Powerful conversation. Thank you so much. As uh, we wind up, what is that one message you'd like to leave uh, anyone that is uh, listening in and anyone who would watch uh, the conversation or listen to the podcast? Uh, there is that message, you know. Uh, we've talked on a lot. We've touched on uh, some very serious conversations or topics. Somebody could be listening in and they could have forgotten everything we've talked about. Yeah. But there is that one thing you want them to take away and you want them to take home with them. What is that one message, please? Process honest thoughts. Mm-hmm. Love yourself and everything else will fall into place. Mm-hmm. Love everything and everyone around you. Always be aware of yourself and your surroundings mm-hmm. and... Yeah, that's it. All right, all right. Thank you. It is illegal for a human being born with a dark skin to put hate in their heart. Mm-hmm. It is illegal. That's why we have diamonds in Congo. It's because of love. They are not there because they are minerals. Those are not minerals. The best way to let diamonds run in your blood is to put love in your heart. Put love in your heart. Once you have love in your heart, everything you want will come to you because your eyes are not looking. Your eyes are harvesting what you're thinking. Your nose is harvesting what you're thinking. Your mouth is bringing the food you want. They are working for you. Your ears are listening to what you're thinking. If if you can even change the music you listen to, you realize your thoughts will start to change as well. Right. So uh, for me, uh, uh, an honest person, an honest approach, uh, embrace telling the truth, have the courage to, to share the truth with the world, with the universe. And the universe will also share the truth with you. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for giving us this uh, glorious opportunity to also share our thoughts. And uh, may the universe grant you all, guys, your heart desires. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so you much. We want more <laughs> South African women in <laughs> My sister, uh, school